If you need to compare two paired categorical samples, McNamara test is a correct choice for you, though people often use chi-square tests instead. Thus, in this video, we'll first conduct, visualize and interpret McNamara test you see on the screen using only one simple command and then see what happens if we use chi-square test for paired data. This one simple command is the ggbarstats function from ggstats plot package, which needs only five arguments. First, our data, which shows 20 people who were tested for having alien parasites in their blood before and after taking a treatment drug. X argument will be our results before the treatment and Y will be the results after the treatment. Then we have to tell ggbarstats that our samples are truly paired. And lastly, I always use the label argument to display both numbers and percentages of observations in order to see what changed. Such simple command results in this statistically rich and publication-ready plot. Now let's interpret the results. Let's first look at the numbers. The 4, which were and remained negative, and the 7, which were and remained positive, do not provide any useful information, because nothing has changed there. But since 8 people which had an alien parasite before and became negative after taking the drug, while only one new person got infected, we can conclude that our treatment kind of worked. Kind of, because only statistical tests can tell for sure. That's why ggbarstat displays test results on the top of the plot. For instance, McNamara's chi-square statistics was previously used to get p-values, but since modern statistical software always deliver p-values, nobody cares about it anymore. The p-value helps to test the null hypothesis, which assumes that the drug has no impact on disease, while the alternative hypothesis assumes that the drug has an effect on disease. And our p-value of 002 shows a moderate evidence against the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis that our drug worked. However, a p-value only tells you that our drug has an effect, but not how strong this effect is. Fortunately, GD bar stats provides coens G with 95% confidence intervals as the measure of the effect size for McNamara test which shows how big the effect of the drug is. The interpret coens g function from effect size package reveals that our effect size of 0.39 is actually large. So the final interpretation of our McNamara test is the ability for our drug to kill the alien parasite is significant and large, which is amazing since we can stop aliens. However, if we took a wrong test, we could have made a big mistake. Let me show you what I mean. First, ggbarstat delivers even more than you can see on the plot. Namely, it automatically removes the continuity correction, which was shown to be conservative by several scientific papers. We can clearly see it by using McNamara test function with correct false argument and getting identical results. In contrast, if we don't use this argument, McNamara test will apply the continuity correction and produce unnecessary large p-value, which almost failed to reject an null hypothesis, so that we almost missed a discovery of a drug which saves humanity from alien parasite. Secondly, the things can go even more wrong if we take chi-square test by accidentally forgetting the paired true argument or, God forbid, would take chi-square test for pair data on purpose, because chi-square test has a completely different null hypothesis and may produce opposite results. And that's exactly what happens in our example. A huge p-value and a small effect size tell us that our drug is useless, which is dramatically wrong. So using chi-square test for pair data is like using a wrong drug against the alien parasite. And now I hope you cannot unknow it. But if your samples are not paired and you actually want to conduct either frequent tests or Bayesian chi-square test and want to know how to interpret all these results, check out this video.